I just discovered a new way to incorporate drop downs without a script for many, many lines of data and to do it very quickly. I got two versions here. I'm going to show you how to do it on the simple version, and then I'm going to show you how to do it for multiple drop downs when you have maybe six or seven dependent drop downs. Uh, just for the basic one, let's go ahead. Um, I got some simple data structured here. So we got our first category, fruit, and then depending upon that, we want to pick a fruit or a vegetable, depending on what we pick. Let's get this first one done. So if you haven't used it before, uh, easiest is you click on this top header, hold down control, click in the top row, and so now we just are applying it to the rows below the top header. Right click, click data validation, list from range, we can click in here to select, make sure you selected it, otherwise it'll give you a little error. And then again, we can click here, and then I'll just change this to A2 because we don't want that category text in there. And then I usually do reject input, and there we go. Now we have our first fruit and vegetable. How do we get our dependent dropdown? Because when I pick fruit, I only want fruits to show up in these dropdowns. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to use a little filter function, and I'm just going to throw it right in here. So filter. What I want to return is this, where, uh, there we go. Didn't quite grab it. I'm just gonna grab this and it can be a little tricky to grab those manually with the mouse when your little pop is behind it. So what I need to do is B where A equals to this A2 cell. So right now it's blank. So let me go ahead and pick something. Fruit. And now we have the drop down. This is what I've seen this before, and I've used this before to do this drop down, dependent drop down. But it gets unwieldy in a hurry and then you're manually copy and pasting. So what I figured out is if you do transpose on this, it goes from left to right. So all I gotta do is drag this down to the bottom of this tab. And now it's gonna grab, this one's the only one updating. So for each one, it's gonna grab that. So all I need to do now is to somehow pull this row into here and then apply it down. You know, I got a thousand rows in here. So what I figured out, if you do this list for range, we'll go ahead and pick this again from simple dropdown and I get that first row. So again, reject input, hit save. Now here's the rub. This is what you have to do. I have to go back in, get rid of the dollar signs to lock it. And now, click in the cell, get that blue box, drag this down all the way to the bottom, scroll back up, and now we have our fruit. So if I click on this one, there's nothing because we haven't selected anything yet. So we can see there's nothing here, and again, there's nothing here. Let me go ahead and pick just apple there. Let's go for vegetable in the next row. Now we only have our vegetables fruit. If I update it, vegetables. So obviously you're going to have a little error thing if you get rid of this because then this is not showing up. There's a blank thing. Let me go to those multiple drop downs. So the only thing you got to remember and that's important for this is that you have to repeat your data a lot. So if we're looking at here, if we're setting this up, I have animal and I have to repeat this for vertebrae all the way down, uh, chordata or however you say that. Um, and then you have to repeat for each one you go down, you're going to have to repeat the data from the first ones. So this one got kingdom. So each time I'm going to have an animal, I'm going to have to repeat this animal one in this first column and followed by species, class, and so forth. So what we end up with is something like this, and we can select all the way through. So let me just show you how to chase this because right now there's nothing in these. So animal. You can see the animals. Now, I didn't only chase down the plant, uh, the animal ones. If you see plants, I did species not filled in yet. Same thing with fungi and so forth. So I didn't fill this out completely. So this doesn't have complete data for doing everything because that would take me a little while. But I have all the data in here. So we can go to vertebrates. We can look at this. Maybe we'll do mammals. I think that's one of the ones I got filled in. And then we could go carnivores. And we can go to cats. So we can chase this all the way down, and you can see here it's not showing up until I select this. So what I'm going to show you real quick here is how I got this structured. 
um, which would be pretty self-explanatory. So I got here. So all I'm doing is I have a tab for each dropdown. So uh, Kingdom is drop is pulling directly from this one. So we don't need to do a tab for that, a helper tab. So Species comes from Species dropdowns. And so what I have here is I'm pulling from B, which is Species, where A equals A2. So same as we were doing the first time. Now to get the next dropdown, what we're going to do is go to classes and now I'm doing C where B equals B2. So what I'm doing is um, C where B equals B and so forth. That's all I'm doing. So I'm going to show you real quick on genus to finalize that. I think that's the last ones I have on the settings. Yep. So I'm just going to show you how to do the genus one. And so let's look at family. I'm just going to copy this one. Duplicate. Call this genus. If I can type here. Genus drop downs. And all I got to do then, so I'm just if I'm going right to left, all I have to do when I go in here is just move all these one over. So E and E. So you can do this as many times as you want. Obviously, the more you have of these, um, you could get your spreadsheet to get a little slower, especially if you have a lot of other formulas going on. And so there we go. Now, let me go ahead and jump in. Multiple drop downs. Let's pick. Uh, what we got here? I didn't have rodents, it's carnivores. Let's do cats. And then, oh, I need to let me go ahead and associate this. Data validation. Let's run range. And then go to genus. Grab that first row. And I don't know why um, it does this, but if you just drag this down, um, I'll just show you drag this down, what's going to end up with is the exact same data. And so what happens is, is even though it wasn't, this dollar sign wasn't in here when I put it in, it automatically adds it after I save it. So I have to go back in here and take that out and then save it again. And now if I drag it down, you can see now there's nothing in here. And then if I actually go in here, you can see now it's on two. So I don't know why that is, but uh, that's kind of how I figure out that hack to get that to work. So now, um, I see all the cat family here, and so I can chase it again and pick something else if I want to. Now, obviously, I don't have this whole thing sh um, filled out, so I can't show you uh, just selecting all a bunch of different stuff. Um, like dogs here, it's going to show up. Gina's not filled yet. So let's go to cats, and I can pick felines. All right, that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Otherwise, I'll be back soon with some more hacks and hints.